And we arrived! I cannot believe my buddy Ryan found this. I don't know how he found it, but it's here. This package was specially air freighted in from JFK, one of the most rare artifacts of modern society. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to the vlog. I'm just a man doing manly things. I have never in my entire life seen so much tape used to <laughs> one package. There's gonna be a shortage on tape in 2023. Ooh, I can see the colors. <laughs> Next time, Ryan, have your guy add more bubble wrap. This is so sick. How? <laughs> I'm a Barbie boy in my world. Don't click away. We have a lot more to do in today's video. This is so sick. This has got to be one of the coolest gifts I've ever received from Power Wheels by Fisher Price. We have the pink Lamborghini. It's like a matching spec to my Aventura. So we got the white interior. We got the white wheels, of course, the pink paint, and it's a Roadster. Shout out to the homie Ryan Friedman. I don't know how he found this. This is crazy. And also, if you're wondering. It's a Sunday morning, none of my neighbors can see me. That's why I designed the house this way. They don't need to know. They definitely don't need to know. Also, quick disclaimer, the rest of the video is not gonna be as exciting. It's a Barbie Lamborghini. Look at the two together though. They are actually identical specs. That's sick. Also, correction, 1995 Barbie Lamborghini. Oscar, come on, buddy. You got me. You got me. <laughs> buddy, come on. Come on, come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm selling the Corvette. I'm selling everything. I'm going bankrupt. Before you guys get upset, let me try to explain. I just pulled the Corvette outside to film it and then the heavens opened up. It is now snowing like crazy. So I think we're gonna pull the Z06 in the, I don't know where we're gonna put it. Now there's been a lot of rumors and a lot of speculation floating all over the internet, mainly on TikTok and YouTube, that I am bankrupt, that I'm filing bankruptcy shortly. Now, it's mainly attributable to something I said in a video a couple months back that I probably shouldn't have said, but I said it. To answer the question precisely, am I filing chapter seven or chapter 11 bankruptcy? The answer is, at least not yet, not yet. Nah, not yet. I am selling the Corvette Z06. I did sell the Nissan GTR. I am selling the Toyota Supra. I am selling my Razor. We're selling a lot of cars, but I'm not filing bankruptcy. Now on that bombshell, today's video has been sponsored by Cars and Bids. That's right, we are selling the Corvette Z06 on Cars and Bids. Now I'd imagine most of you guys are pretty familiar with Cars and Bids, of course founded by fellow automotive YouTuber, the absolute legend, the GOAT, Mr. Doug DiMiro. My Corvette Z06 is going live on Cars and Bids right now. The auction just went live. As soon as this video dropped, the auction went live, so be sure to check out the link in the description below to follow along on the journey to see what the Corvette Z06 sells for. Now Cars and Bids is truly the premier online marketplace to sell your enthusiast car from 1981 and up. And I chose to sell my Z06 on Cars and Bids for one reason. I want to get the best value. They have over 340,000 registered users. They have tens of thousands of active bidders. And as a seller, I pay nothing. It is free to list my car on Cars and Bids. The buyer pays a buyer's premium, a best in class 4.5% that is capped at $4,500. And Cars and Bids also has an industry leading 85% sell rate. And to date, they've completed over 11,000 auctions. Now listing the Corvette Z06 on Cars and Bids could not have been an easier process. Their team is amazing. They have a best in class speed to auction. They have live auction moderation as well as post sale support. If you have a cool enthusiast car and you're looking to sell it, check out Cars and Bids. And on the flip side, if you're looking to buy a cool enthusiast car, check out Cars and Bids. Check out the link in the description below to my live auction on the Corvette Z06. Shout out to the homies at Cars and Bids and of course shout out to Doug DiMiro. The base MSRP on a Corvette Z06 is $118,000 mindfully optioned $172,555. I have the Z06 Ultimate Package, carbon ceramic brakes, PS Cup tires, Z07 suspension, $8,995. And the exterior carbon fiber pack was $10,495. And the mirror caps, invisible carbon fiber, $1,285. And the logos finished in black, were $225. And the carbon fiber wheels were $11,995. Also, you see the black lug nuts? 
$245. And the yellow calipers were $695. Yellow seat belt, $495. Yellow stitching, $495. Suede steering wheel, $695. And I also have both sets of keys. <laughs> And the front end lift, $2,595. Now there's one reason and one reason only I'm selling the Corvette Z06, and to be completely honest with you guys, I need the money. I got destroyed on this house, it absolutely annihilated me. The original budget was two million, we're in over three million dollars. There's still hundreds of thousands of dollars still needed on the house, that's why we're selling the Corvette Z06. That being said, there's a disclaimer that you have to know in case you're gonna buy this car. Moving forward, this car does not carry a warranty. When I bought this car back in November, I signed an agreement stating if I did not keep the car for long, longer than six months, General Motors would void the warranty, which means it's February, I've had the car for three months, the warranty does not carry over to the next buyer. That is a very, very, very important disclaimer. I'm not a consumer protection attorney. I don't know if that's an empty threat from General Motors, but it is what it is. The Z06 Corvette will not carry a warranty to the new owner. And another thing that has to be noted, this is my third C8. We had the original white one, we had the wide body blue one, and now the Z06. I can't do anything to the Z06. I'm not gonna cut up this car, it's too rare, it's too valuable. I have carbon fiber wheels, I can't get aftermarket wheels. I could do an exhaust maybe, but the car is almost too good. There's not much you could do to really improve it. I'm gonna sell it, take 100,000, put it into the house, take the other 100,000, and I wanna buy something really, really cool. The new Nissan 400Z, or the new Mark V Toyota Supra manual, I think those could be some pretty cool options. If you guys have any other ideas, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna make an Instagram story poll go live as soon as this video goes live. Would you rather see the new manual Z or the manual Mark V Toyota Supra? Let me know. Sophia's driving the Aventador and I'm stuck with the Hummer. I'm not sure exactly how that happened. It doesn't seem very fair. So to continue the saga from the last video, we still have the service high voltage system. Cancel that and the service leveling system, cancel that. So we're taking it off to the dealership right now. We're gonna drop it off, and hopefully they can sort it out. The thing about Sophia, she didn't complain one single time during the Hummer fiasco. Also, look at the wrap on that Tesla. The events are on the road. There's nothing quite like it. Let's see it, Soph. Let's go, let's go. If you guys did not see the last video, I highly encourage you to go check it out. We had quite the fiasco with the Hummer EV and EV Nation. The EV fanboys annihilated me in the comments. All I was doing was sharing my experience. I even had a couple Tesla fanboys who attacked me. I complimented Tesla the entire video and I still couldn't please them. So yeah, if you haven't seen the video, go check it out. Uh, it was quite a disaster. That being said, I still love this truck. I still think it's one of the coolest trucks. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to Jerry Signer GMC. Now my big question mark, Will the warranty be voided because of the 37 inch tires? I'm really hoping this isn't like a long drawn out fiasco. Obviously the high battery voltage system is a concern, but uh, I guess we'll find out. I didn't even tell Sophia to back the Aventador in. Who are you? That's the only way to park. Okay, wow, <laughs> I see how it is. Oh, you're driving? No. Are you driving? You can I can ride drive. passenger. Are you sure? Are you sure? No, yeah, you drive. You drove my car for five minutes. What did you do? Did you drive through a mud puddle? It's not my fault. <laughs> it sure looks like it. It sure looks like it. Wow. Now, bear in mind, Sophia, any and all tickets are your responsibility. Also, you're a Canadian citizen. I don't know if that means they'd lock you. I don't know what happens. I I do you get extradited? No. Nah. Yeah, we'll find out. And go. <laughs> <laughs> We're back, baby. I'm driving. Sorry, Soph. Soph got retired. <laughs> That's so sick. Can I get a God bless the V12? No? <laughs> Let's go! God bless the V12! <laughs> I tell you guys, I have nothing against EVs. But God save the V12. Sophia's here saying they're gonna think I'm a bad driver, that's why I took over. We stopped for lunch at Subway, and I wanted to drive the rest of the way, okay? You're an excellent driver. I complimented you the entire time. Sophia, everybody loves you. You'll drive next time. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not, though. Yeah, probably not. Good. Probably not. <laughs> Sophia thinks she sounds like a squealy chihuahua. I do. No, you Every don't. Time I'm in this car. <laughs> it's an Aventador. It's Corsa mode. You're not a squealy chihuahua. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit, okay, it's okay. We like chihuahuas on the channel. It's crazy to think in a couple months this car is gonna be full exposed carbon fiber wide body because right now she is the winter beater all because Sophia drove the car for That's, five that seconds. Was, that was you. It was so clean when I was driving it. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the ver you look like the female version of me with the Stratmarch backpack. You legit look just like me. Look at that. What? 
I'm gonna have to retire. Oscar, come here, bud. Oscar. Hey, hey Floof. Hey. Now I wanna continue the discussion on my pending financial destruction, my looming bankruptcy. I built my dream house during the worst time to build a house in the last 50 years, and that's factual. You could call it bad luck, you could call me an idiot, you could tell me you told me so. The one thing I know for sure, it's very easy to predict the future in retrospect. So if you drop a comment saying I told you so, just remember that. Lumber prices the day I paid for lumber were an all time record high and today they have dropped dramatically. Interest rates the day I closed on my loan were double the interest rate they were six months prior. The original budget for the house was two million. We're in over three million dollars. I still have hundreds of thousands of dollars of work, of money needed to complete the house. I'm not expecting you to feel bad for me. That is not what this is at all. I just have always been open and honest from the day I started my YouTube channel and I think you guys appreciate. So that's all I'm doing, just being open and honest. I got 15 cars. It doesn't make sense to have 15 cars. Now I'm telling you guys this for one reason and one reason only, and that is to hedge myself against the bullies in the comment section for selling the Z06. Cause when I sold the Nissan GTR, I got destroyed. I got beat up for selling that car. I got 15 cars now. 13 of them are paid off in full. So when I sell the Z06, I'm getting 100% of the proceeds. So like financially, I'm totally fine. It's just a bump in the road. The house got me down. It did, like it is what it is. I attribute most of it to bad luck. I built my house during the worst possible time ever. Once again, do not feel bad for me. I'm gonna get through it. I just gotta sell a couple cars. We gotta film some cool videos and we'll be back, baby. We'll be back. Now I was rummaging around in my garage and I found this. I forgot about this. I have no idea what it is. Let's find out. Ooh, that's right. I forgot about this. It's a hood. I don't know what it is about carbon fiber. It is the coolest material known to man. This of course is the carbon fiber hood for my Lamborghini Aventador. Every single panel is gonna be exposed carbon fiber. Duke Dynamics, now we're still waiting on the carbon fiber doors and then the project can commence. 2023 ain't dead boys, 2023 is not dead. We sold the Nissan GTR, we might be selling the Corvette, but the year's not dead. Not dead, we're not done yet. And of course upstairs in one of my spare bedrooms, we have all my carbon fiber parts. Do not step over anything, do not scratch. Da, 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 da. And on the guest bed, there we go. All the carbon fiber. We're gonna be starting the project very, very, very soon. I still gotta sort out the exhaust and then the carbon fiber doors. So soon, and when I say soon, you guys know. So yes, to summarize, unfortunately, the Corvette Z06 is officially for sale. If you wanna follow in the action, check out the link to cars and bids in the description below. The Nissan GTR is sold, the Mark IV Toyota Super is still for sale, the TRX is still available, as well as the Razor. Now, I may not sell the TRX. Originally, I was gonna daily drive the Hummer, but given the recent circumstances, we'll kinda of sorta of see. Now, I'm not filing bankruptcy, at least not yet, because I'm selling the cars. If I didn't sell the cars, I would file bankruptcy. I don't wanna file bankruptcy, so I'm selling the cars. And on that bombshell, today's video, yep, today's video is over.